between 1975 and 1979, anywhere between 5 and 15 young boys were murdered across Illinois, Kansas, and Nebraska near railroad tracks. Most of the boys were kidnapped and molested before they were murdered. This is a story of William Gottney, better known as Freight Train, the Slayer of Innocents. Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do. We don't want to scare anybody. There isn't very much information online about this slayer of innocence, but what I was able to find and piece together was from Murderpedia, the Amazon Prime documentary Freight Train Slayer of Innocence, as well as the Murder Inquest report and a few newspaper articles. It should be noted that William Gottney, who was known as Freight Train, shouldn't be confused with the railroad killer, Angel Maturino Resendez, who murdered 15 men and women between 1986 and 1999. I was introduced to the story of this killer when I put out an open request on Facebook. I needed suggestions on serial killers to do an essay on for my criminology class. My dad was one of those who responded with a suggestion. The killer he presented to me was Freight Train. He made this suggestion because it was a local case and because the brother of his ex-wife, my older brother and sister's mom, was murdered by him at just 14 years old in normal Illinois. William Gottney was born sometime in 1922 and loved to ride the rails, which he did for nearly 40 years as a hobo. Most of the people he came in contact with liked him. He got along well with children, who would often ask him to perform freight train calls. He would live off the land and supported himself through odd jobs in the towns he came to. He was considered a happy-go-lucky guy, but he had also informed a female acquaintance that he was two different people. There was a good bill and a bad bill. Freight train was eventually apprehended and remanded to a psychiatric institute. However, he would often leave the institutions on his own, and was eventually caught molesting a nine-year-old girl, which deviated from his preferred victim typology, where he was then sentenced to an institution near Topeka, Kansas, where he spent the remainder of his days. The first known victims of Godney's were 13-year-old John Simpson and 12-year-old Jacob Serber, who he abducted from a state fair in Lincoln, Nebraska on August 30th, 1975. The first of the two boys found was Jacob Serber, whose body was found in a drainage ditch half a block from the fairgrounds. This drainage ditch had been overgrown with grass and weeds, which is why it took so long to locate the body. Investigators stated that Serber's body had been there for about four days before it was discovered. John Simpson's body was later found badly decomposed on September 21st the same year. His body was located in a closed hopper train car. Both of the victims had multiple stab wounds to the chest. Turns out, Gottney attempted to hide Simpson's body. Simpson's body had been discovered by the foreman of the Gooch cleaning crew, who was cleaning the hopper car that was filled with flour near the fairgrounds. When he opened the manhole hatch, he was hit with a putrid odor, which caused him to drop a light into the car where he saw the decomposing body. Gottney's next victim was nine-year-old Mark Helmig of Pekin, Illinois. Helmig had left his house and crossed a set of railroad tracks on his way to Mineral Springs Park for a 4-H fair, but went missing on August 1st, 1976. During the course of the first week in which he was missing, police received several calls from the people throughout the community, stating they had seen the boy alive. He was later seen on August 5th, and as of August 11th, he was still missing and considered to have left the area. His body was later found in a box car under a piece of cardboard on August 24th of the same year. Mark's body was naked with a coarse hemp type binding twine wrapped around his neck, wrists, and ankles all bound together with a single length. 14-year-old Marty Lancaster was last seen on June 11th, 1978 on his way to Pat's Billiard Supply from his house, both in Normal, Illinois. He had been traveling along the railroad tracks that ran behind his house northeast in the direction of the store under a mile away. His body was discovered on July 14th of the same year, just north of Division Street which was directly south of his house following the railroad tracks. All three locations were within a one mile radius. According to family members, Lancaster looked younger, which could explain why at 14 years old, he was the oldest of Gottney's victims. By the way in which his body was found, it would seem that Gottney likely blitz attacked the boy from behind, as he was murdered via multiple skull fractures, likely caused by the head of a railroad spike, which Gottney carried with him. The murderer then left the boy's body where he had found him covered in debris, in a badly overgrown strip of land, with rusted appliances and other junk around him, and fled the area on a passing train. It would seem that Marty likely made it to the billiard shop, 
and then began working his way to White Oak Park Lake to go fishing when he was attacked. On May 20th, 1979, 12-year-old Jack Hanrahan disappeared while on his way to a bowling alley from his Topeka, Kansas home. His body was discovered 10 days later floating in a creek badly decomposed near Harveyville, Kansas. The victim had been molested before his murder. The autopsy was inconclusive as to the cause of his death. However, he did have a wound behind his right ear, chest injuries, and injuries to the neck caused by strangulation. Though Gottney was arrested for the boy's murder, it was never proven. However, 18 years later an investigation occurred when a tip was applied to the police in regard to the patient of a local therapist. You see, the tip involved a patient telling his therapist, I murdered Jack, which was followed by a description of what the patient had done to the body. Information was gathered with the help of a search warrant, which allowed the breaking of psychologist patient privilege. Gottney is suspected in the murder and disappearance of at least 15 children, but to this day, the other cases have not been officially closed. He was arrested on August 22, 1979, and ruled incompetent for trial in 1980, with his murder confession suppressed. He was committed to a mental institution. He died in 1997.